Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Bases Loaded Lacquer SB8. I'll be starting with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat. And SB8 is a small batch polish um, from Bases Loaded Lacquer and I like that she's doing those. It gives you the opportunity to get something kind of unique and this one really is sweet. It's got some beautiful flakies in it. They're like iridescent flakies. And I don't have a yellow that has iridescent flakies like this in it. So I was really excited to pick this one up on my last purchase. So there we go. We got our first coat. It's got a great formula. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And we're going to go in with the second coat. Now, if you've got long nails or a really visible nail line, you may want to do three coats. But today, I'm just going to do two. Woody back again to help. I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush real quick and do some tidying up before I do my top coat. I'll be using INM out the door today, and this one's going to help dry these down real quick. And I like the INMs out the door because it's rather thin, not too thick. I'll be using Born Pretty Overprint L002 today. It's one of the layering stamping plates. And I picked this image, and I really wish I'd have thought about it some more and picked a different one, but... That's okay. I've got my Beauty Scraper out and the AliExpress Stamper. I've got Shut Out, also by Bases Loaded, and On the Black by Bases Loaded. We've got a couple of clean colors, and this one is Metallic Fuchsia, and another clean color called Metallic Aqua. So this stamp and plate is one that you do the layering, like I said. So we're going to do that first layer in white. And the thing was, is I really wanted to play with this plate, and that's really all I'm doing today. Um, I do end up wearing the manicure for a while, but I, I, you know, I didn't go into it like with any real game plan. I just wanted to play and see how it works out. I do use a little piece of tape to get that excess off the stamper because I don't want it ending up on my nails. So I'm just doing accent nails today. I did the thumb, the middle finger, and the ring finger nail. And now we're moving on to the second image of the layering, and I'm doing that one in the aqua. And, you know, I know I've said this before, uh, you know, I'm not really good at this layering stuff, but I'm not going to get good if I don't practice and if I don't play with them and sample and experiment. So that's what today's manicure is all about. I am not claiming to be, you know, like a layering expert. So, and... That's what I suggest for you. Just play with stuff. Um, if you've got a manicure owned that's just a plain base manicure, play with it before you take it off. You're about ready to take it off. Go ahead and play with it. Stamp on it. Do decals. Do, do whatever. You know, just play with it. So I have me moved on to the fuchsia. And it's not showing up really great over the blue. But... I find it's okay. You know, I really like the blue, so um, it's, you still get little peaks of it, and hopefully you'll be able to see that later when I show my mini photo. And now we're going to go in with that little centerpiece to the flower, and I'm going to do that in black. Just be bopping along, be bop, be bop. And they're kind of cute, I th I, you know, with my nails being so short, there's not a lot of nail estate to play on, so I'm just kind of doing what I can. And that's why I only did accent nails. I didn't want it to just be too busy, too crazy. Of course, sometimes I like that craziness. So there we go. I'm going to clean this plate with pure acetone, and I wipe over it with a paper towel, just to take away that fogginess. And here we go with some Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. And then I'm going to top it off with the Posh fast drying top coat. Give it a glossy shine and get it dry down and be finished. But I ended up liking it. I, I wouldn't say it was my favorite manicure, but I did like it and I had fun getting to play with that stamping plate. And there we have it. So we've got some stuff under the nail. We got to get Woody back out here to help. There we go. Good job. 
Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.